hello and welcome to this video where we'll be looking at the cost of building a four bedroom residential duplex building in nigeria now the question of how much does it cost to build a three or four bedroom house is a very common and also quite pertinent one this is because it only makes sense to know what it's going to cost you before embarking on such a big project and that is what we'll be covering in the next eight minutes or so Hi, my name is Idong Ko, and I'm a civil engineer with over 20 years experience in the design and building of structures. I want to share some of that experience with you. Now, back to the question of how much it costs. Unfortunately, there is no single simple answer, really, as there are several factors that influence the final cost of the building. But wait, what do you think it will cost to go from this bare piece of land to this is it 19 million naira 25 million naira or 28 million naira what is the cost per square meter well watch to the end and i'll reveal the actual figures before we dive into the video proper i want to spend the moment to look at three of these factors and how it affects the cost of your building First is the project location. Now, apart from the cost of the land, which of course directly influences building cost, the nature of the site is crucial. Is it on a steep slope? Then it might need bulk earthworks, that is cuts and fill, or earth retaining structures like retaining walls or even a basement. Is the site rocky or waterlogged or sand filled? They might require some robust and extensive foundations. These types of contrary site conditions push up building costs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Secondly, is the building design. Now, while some clients are happy with a simple design, some prefer a unique, often elaborate and intricate concept. Apart from the standard features one expects to see in a four bedroom residential building, they may include spaces to allow for a gym, laundry room, study, or even a mini cinema room. Specific spatial and aesthetic requirements may require specialized equipment, materials, or even manpower to achieve. These design considerations obviously increase the construction complexities, increases the building area, and definitely will affect the final costs. The third factor is the client's tastes or style. Now, this is somehow connected to the building design, but in a different sense, as this refers to the final look of the structure. Whether standard, premium, or luxury, a client's tastes will determine the style and quality of the floor and wall finishes, bathroom fittings, lighting fixtures, kitchen fittings, cooling systems, and so on. The client's preferred style can sometimes be the reason why two similar buildings will have one costing more than 50% of the other. Now, apart from these three factors, there are others like availability of materials, cost of labor in that area, and so on. But these three are the major ones. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's dive into the video. Building location, Abuja, Nigeria. Site conditions, good, no major challenges. Building and style, simple design and style. Area cover, 95 meters squared on the ground and 150 meters squared on the first floor. Total floor area equals 210 square meters. The building scope, core and shell, or the building carcass. Contract type, direct label. Now, I did another video where I discussed the stages of construction of this very four bedroom duplex to carcass level. After watching this video, you can check it out if you're interested. So let's look at the different stages, the work items and costs. Stage one, foundation. The works involved in this stage were site clearance and setting out excavations, blinding, 
reinforcements and concrete work, block work, backfilling, earthworks filling to level, DPC casting. The total cost 2.2 million naira. Stage 2 the concrete frame. The works involved in this stage is a stage where form work, reinforcements, and concrete work in the columns that is also known as the pillars. First floor beams and slabs, that is the decking, lintels, staircase, roof beam and slabs. The total cost 6 million naira. Stage 3, the block work. The block works, the works involved in this stage were internal and external block walls at ground and first floor level. Total costs 1.8 million naira. Stage 4, the roofing stage. The works involved in this stage were timber roof trusses, step tiles roofing sheets. Total costs 1.9 million naira. Stage 5. Doors and windows. The works involved in this stage were provision and fixing of security doors externally, wood panel doors internally, aluminum framed windows. Total cost 3.4 million naira. Stage 6. Plastering. The works involved in this stage were Plaster render on internal and external block walls as well as the staircase soffits. Total cost 2 million naira. Stage 7 the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing, that is the MEP. The works involved in this stage were plumbing pipes and connections with no sanitary fixtures, electrical piping and wiring, also with no lighting fittings. Total cost 1.7 million naira. Therefore, the total cost for the core and shell is equal to 19 million naira, which is about 25,500 US dollars. The cost per square meter, based on the 210 meters squared of floor space, becomes about 90,500 naira per square meter or about 121 US dollars per square meter. Earlier in the video, I had asked you to guess how much this building carcass will cost between 19, 25 and 28 million naira. 19 million was correct. So after getting the building to this stage, the next question that comes to mind will be, how much will be needed to complete it? and bring it ready for the client to move in. True, the building has reached an advanced stage, but there are still some work items to be done, and here's a list of them. 1. Tiles as floor and wall finish, POP ceiling finish, lighting fittings, sanitary fixtures, that is the WC, wash and basins and water heater, kitchen sink and kitchen cabinets, wardrobes in the rooms, burglar bars for windows, balustrade as balcony and staircase, screening and painting on the walls, borehole and overhead water tank, septic tank and suck away pit for sewage, fence and gate, interlocking, paving slabs and curves, and so on. The cost of achieving all of this will be influenced, as I said earlier, by the client's taste. But as a minimum, an estimate of around 10 to 11 million should do it. Now, if we use the total additional amount of 11 million, this will bring the total cost of completion to 30 million naira, or about 40,300 US dollars. The cost per square meter of the completed work will now be around 100 and 43,000 naira per square meter or 192 US dollars per square meter. It is important to note however that every building is unique and rates and prices can vary significantly and also depend on the time of construction. Now this video was made in March of 2023. Your best bet 
is to engage a quantity surveyor or a builder or a civil engineer who will study and give advice on your specific project. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section and I will try to respond to every single one. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification icon. That way YouTube will let you know when I release another video like this.